Hi, this is Michael Gross, and I am the tuba and euphonium professor at University of Oregon. I'll be performing for you chromatic scale beginning on F. In this example, please remember to always play with, with even tempo and then also with great tone. Every note should have great sound. And you want to make sure that the, the tempo you pick at the beginning is the tempo that you play throughout. So even tempo, great tone. I'll be performing for you now the exercise number two, Etude Espressivo. In this etude, there are a lot of examples of tenuto notes and staccato notes, uh, changing dynamics, crescendos, decrescendos, mezzo fortes, fortes, Piano. So make sure that you're looking at the dynamics uh, very well and uh, you're, you're ex uh, giving great example of the, of the note lengths and also to be aware of being expressive in this, in this etude. There's a lot of times where there's opportunities for expression, say towards the end of the first line, um, middle of the second line, very, very lovely places for expression, and really through the whole thing. So um, it's not just notes, it's music. Your job is to take those notes that are on the page and turn them into music. I'll be performing for you today exercise number three, Etude Technical. Here we have an etude that is at about quarter note equals 120, and you're going to want to observe the various uh, staccato markings, the accents, the dynamics, whether it's forte or pianissimo, um, and you're going to want to uh, observe the, the decrescendos, and especially uh, the last two notes, which are forte, coming out of a decrescendo. So play this with even time and um, really great sound on every single pitch. Every single note should be a great vibration, a great buzz, a great sound. Just because something's marked staccato doesn't mean that uh, you should play it with less than your best sound. It should be your best sound. Um, but it should just be separate from the other notes around it. So enjoy working on this A2 technical.